Hello, gentlemen. And mom. Do you know who the most broken character in Melee is? Fox. What? No, not him. Mark. No, not him either. No, not... <gasps> it's not a high tier, okay? It's this guy. This guy. Currently, Mr. Game & Watch sits at the top of F tier, oh. higher than seven other characters, which in itself is a bit surprising given his very special characteristics, such as being the only character not able to L cancel all of his aerials, having the worst shield in the game, being tied for second lightest character along with Jigglypuff, having a very linear, albeit long, recovery, and having by far the worst spot dodge in the game. On the flip side, however, Mr. Game & Watch boasts fantastic disjointed moves like forward and down smash, along with its forward and neutral air, which is the strongest neutral air in the game, solid follow-ups off of grabs, a chain grab on Fox, Falco, Captain Falcon, and Pikachu, no shortage of kill moves, and of course, his X factor in the form of Side B. Mr. Game & Watch is interesting in that, while he's a completely unfinished, broken disaster, he's also not horrible, and he's even tournament viable. In 2019 alone, character specialist Curb has gotten wins on multiple members of the top 100, namely Ryan Ford, Two Saint, HT, 42nd, Cobb, and Vortex. And in years prior, he's beaten players like The Moon, Duck, and Slox. Oh! I nutted! He even took a game from Hungrybox in a money match. So what makes him the most broken character in Melee? First, let's go back to what I said about Mr. Game & Watch being the only character in Melee unable to L-cancel all of his aerials. There's a reason for this. Because of an oversight by the developers, the game actually sees his back, neutral, and up aerials as special attacks. Yeah, the moves you do with the B button. And of course, because you can't L cancel special moves, you can't L cancel those three moves either. So if you really think about it, Mr. Game & Watch actually only has two aerials, forward and down aerial, and seven special moves. His three extra special moves are just down to the C stick and A button. Wrap your head around that one. His spot dodge is dog shit. When you spot dodge in melee, the amount of frames you're intangible, or unable to get hit or grabbed, and the amount of frames you're vulnerable after performing a spot dodge varies from character to character. One thing that stays consistent with every character's spot dodge, however, is that they all are intangible longer than they're vulnerable, with some even having twice as many intangible frames as vulnerable frames. I mean, it would be a little strange if a movement to dodge attacks made you more vulnerable than not, wouldn't it? Get this, not only does Mr. Game & Watch get the least amount of intangibility frames, 11, on top of that, He's vulnerable for 20 frames, nearly twice as long as he is intangible. You're hearing that right. Mr. Game & Watch's spot dodge leaves him more susceptible to getting hit than it does help him avoid attacks. This is Mr. Game & Watch's full shield. Look at how little it covers. His head, his nose, his hands, and his feet are all exposed. Poor Mr. Game & Watch has to light shield to have it be comparable to other shields, which makes him get pushed back farther than if you were hard shielding and be stuck in shield stun for longer. According to the wiki, Mr. Game & Watch's pathetic shield is the result of a coding error, and the developers just never bothered to fix it, I guess. Even in the updated PAL version of the game that was released six months after it was released in Japan. Look at this character. Look him in his eyes. Does he deserve all this? Strangely, Mr. Game & Watch shares the same fast falling speed, falling speed, walking speed, traction, and gravity as Mario leading much of the community to speculate that his attributes were copied over from Mario's and then left unchanged due to time restraints. It's not that far-fetched considering how clearly unfinished the character is already, and the fact that the game was developed in only 13 months. One of the in-game trophies for Mr. Game & Watch reads, His image is known far and wide, and respected by gamers everywhere. Well, if that were true, why didn't you respect him, Sakurai? Why is this character such a mess? Why is this character so broken? One more thing. You know how sometimes characters' limbs become invincible during certain attacks? For example, Falco's legs during down smash and Donkey Kong's entire body during up B? Well, Mr. Game & Watch has head invincibility during his up smash, but they forgot to make his nose invincible.